Russia's war in Ukraine has been a military disaster for the Kremlin, a British diplomat said, saying the country's significant losses in manpower paint a bleak picture. Speaking at the Security Cooperation Forum in Vienna, senior military adviser at the UK delegation to the OSCE, Nicholas Orcott, also said factors such as Ukraine's Kursk incursion and the damaging or destroying of a quarter of the Russian Black Sea Fleet add up to a stunning Russian military failure. It is now two years and 212 days since Russia conducted its full-scale invasion, a military action which Russia envisaged would be over in a matter of days. He said in comments, in that context, the current predicament can be construed as nothing less than a military disaster for the Kremlin. Western intelligence estimates cited by the Wall Street Journal on September the 17th placed Russian losses at up to 200,000 dead and 400,000 wounded. This is close to Kyiv's estimates on Moscow's casualties, which is over 637,000 killed and wounded as of September the 18th. At the military level, Ukraine's effective use of maneuver warfare stands in stark contrast to Russia's meat grinders tactics. Orkot said, Ukraine also launched its cross-border incursion into Kursk Oblast in early August, the 6th, allegedly seizing around 100 settlements and over 1,300 square kilometers. Ukraine has a clear right of self-defense against Russia's illegal, unprovoked and barbaric invasion and its actions are demonstrative of the ability of Ukraine's armed forces to achieve strategic surprise and expose Russian weaknesses. Orkot said, Russia's counter-attack in Kursk Oblast, aiming to retake Ukrainian-held territory, has been stopped, a spokesperson of the Ukrainian military administration in the region told AFP. The statement comes a week after Moscow launched a counter-offensive against the western flank of Ukrainian troops in the Russian region. They tried to attack from the flanks, but they were stopped there, spokesperson Oleksiy Dmitrashkivsky told AFP. The situation was stabilized and today everything is under control. They are not successful. Several months before the inauguration of President Vladimir Putin in May 2024, representatives of the Russian Defense Ministry insisted on a new stage of mobilization, but the Russian dictator rejected this idea, writes the Wall Street Journal. The head of the Kremlin, according to the publication, said that he wants to use only contract soldiers to replenish troops and compensate for losses at the front, but now he is under intense pressure. Since in almost three years of war, the Russian armed forces have lost about one million people killed and wounded. The mobilization could have serious political consequences for Putin, the media notes. But at the same time, Russia is losing more soldiers on the battlefield than it can recruit to replace them. The article says, the forces are currently insufficient to achieve the original goals of the war, to remove Ukraine from the conflict, to undermine its military potential or to protect the border areas of Russian territory. More and more people say that mobilization is inevitable, the media source said. Journalists report that during the first wave of mobilization in the Russian Federation, during which the occupiers planned to add 300,000 people to the army, the Russian authorities faced protests and the need to close the border in some regions. According to their data, although Russia has an advantage in population compared to Ukraine, the shortage of personnel remains a serious problem for them. Russia did not commit to sending key frontline forces to Kursk, but given its limitations, it was forced to redeploy troops from Kherson and Zaporozhye where they were less needed, said Rob Lee, a senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Research Institute, an American think tank. By some estimates, Russia is recruiting around 1,000 people a day, while according to the UK, the occupiers are losing around 1,100 soldiers a day at the front. As the article says, Russian leaders are not announcing a new wave of mobilization because of concerns that this process will upset the fragile balance of how society perceives the war. This could have dangerous political consequences for Putin. The independent sociological service Levada Center in Russia published the results of a survey in which 46% of the population of the aggressor country admitted to fearing mobilization. This is 12% more than in February 2024.